know this person. She's a cool person. I like her a lot. Oh, hey, it's me. Welcome to New York. <laughs> I've got a suitcase and he's happy. I was always happy. Just grabbing dinner and then going home and sleep. Good morning, guys. 6 a.m. And I was greeted this morning by a furry, cheese loving friend. I ran right across the island. I heard like something rattle. And then I noticed there was a mouse trying to get into my toddler's pancakes. So in a moment, obviously, I screamed and they just ran across the table and just there, I just saw it appear and run behind the fridge. Oh, I'm just thinking back to like those pancakes, you know, that mouse could have been nibbling at it the night before and I gave those pancakes to Isaac earlier. Baby stuff was sitting on the table. At Ayla, I actually saw like a black bug as well. It's got a hard shell and I didn't think much of it, so I just think in general, this place is just so dirty. When I tweeted about this morning that I was greeted with a furry friend, I got a lot of comments saying, Welcome to New York! You're always happy, aren't you? Um, we're just waiting for the host to come over. I um, haven't told him about the my scenario yet. We just told him that there's no hot water and when he's here, we'll tell him. It's not like I'm scared of it, it's just, you know, I guess I'm worried if it means the area is dirty because obviously we got kids. You see the pancakes have been nibbled in. And I guess we can store food away properly, but um, you know, there's not a lot of places that we can store the food per se. I'm aware that not all air B and B's are like this, but it hasn't left a very good impression. I just turned the news on, it looks like there was some sort of explosion. My goodness, just hope everyone is safe. Notice something on the pillow. I really don't know what this is, guys. It looks like some sort of powder i really don't know what it is all i know is, is it comes off you can see there's some sort of i don't know powder residue it smells like talcum powder something you use to remove scent did they clean this pillow i have no idea since the hair dryer doesn't work my hair is so flat but it's okay Good morning everyone, it is the next day and I'm still buzzing and I've been waiting for tonight for I don't even know how long. I cannot believe it's over and at the same time it's just the beginning because my book is officially launched today. Last night was everything I could ever want and more. Thank you so much to everyone for taking out the time to see me. I'm told it was a sold out book event so it meant that the books are completely sold out so thank you so much for your support. Well, I'm so happy to meet so many of your beautiful faces. I'm also saddened that there are faces that I could not see and I just want to sincerely apologize. I really tried my best to see everyone to a point where in a signing there was one point where it got quite rushed. The reason being is because I know a lot of people have been waiting for a long time and I just wanted to make sure that everyone had a signed book. And I thought everyone had a signed book. Isaac was such a trooper and I actually said that he could go home early with Tim first, but the boys decided to hold out because they knew how important it this was. It meant so much to see you guys. We actually weren't going to bring Isaac because He's been a little one. bit um, aggravated coming here and it, it totally makes sense because of the, the time difference and everything. But you know, yesterday he had a nap and he was so good and um, totally flirting of the crowd, having the time of his life, high-fiving, giving fist bumps and hugs. Just made my day just to see how, how loved he is. Just seeing him communicate with his you know YouTube aunties and uncles, just I can't even describe how it, how warm that makes me feel. It's been a bit of a chaotic trip, um, but last night just, it, it just made everything so much better and like, I cannot stop smiling. Morning guys, now that the event is over, we're gonna be spending the next two days to relax. Yay! I feel like the past few days have been quite difficult for Isaac because um, one, there isn't very much for him to do in apartment because it's been snowing and cold, so we've been kind of cooped in and um, he's been doing a lot of walking when we've been out and it's been cold. So today we're going to take him to the Manhattan uh, Children's Museum. 
today to celebrate. We have fish tacos, chicken salad, burger. Look at you! Are you holding an umbrella? This is what I look like when I walk in the street next to normal people. <laughs> I know this person. She's a cool person. I like her a lot. Oh, hey, it's me. Most importantly, she's a serious writer. It's my book, Barnes and Nobles. I don't have everything to play. This guy is tidying up. <laughs> wow! The phone going ring, ring. Pick it up. Say hello. <laughs> Because of kids, we have to come home early rather than eating out for dinner. Since you can order anything for takeout, we got sushi! Oh! It's so huge! It's so much bigger than I imagined. It's so beautiful. Feeding the little one. Sitting here watching the people skate. Isaac is gonna love that store. Can we go inside? Ready? One, two, go! I decided to let Tim go in. Um, Ayla's asleep, so I told Isaac to go in with Tim because I feel like it means more to him because Lego is also Tim's favorite toy. I can't wait till the sun goes down so I can see what it looks like here at nighttime. So beautiful! Wow, this chocolate shop is so pretty! so happy. I don't think she's ever been this cold in her entire life. Poor thing. It's been a very chilly day indeed. I think one of our favorite moments of the day is when we come back after being out all day and since um, the kids need to go to bed early, we order in our dinner. Oh, this looks so cute. I think one is a lobster roll, one is a shrimp roll, and one is a... Uh, what is it? Lobster crab and shrimp. Lobster crab and shrimp. Was Tim's idea to watch Notebook? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Thank you, baby. Mm. You're a pain in the ass. You're an arrogant son of a bitch. This is what happens when you ask a girl what she wants to eat. <laughs> Look at this little guy counting his crisps. Savoring each piece. Are you a good boy?